Hey there guys, Nathan here with a work in progress video of my new project. So the working title for this is called Sam's Journey. Basically you've got this dude in the center that just sort of walks non-stop. And the goal is to get him from the start to the end of the level without him dying. So this is going to be built for Gear VR and DK2 and then whatever other headsets come out in the future. Yeah, so the inspiration for this is sort of let's cross between two different games. The first one is Crash Twin Sanity, specifically the part where Cortex gets covered in bees and just sort of keeps running and you've got to clear the way for him so he doesn't die. And the second one is a game built for the DK1 called Super Mega Mega, which is basically a cylindrical 2D platforming game. And yeah, I've sort of combined them into one really quick proof of concept that I've got here. And yeah, I'll just restart this and then walk you through the idea of it. Alright, so this is all about environmental hazards and traps and sort of avoiding them. So the first one you'll see here is sort of a pit trap. So if he just keeps walking, he'll fall presumably to his death. So if we just restart this in one second. Alright, so this time we know that if we don't do anything, he dies. So we can tap that and a fan starts up, which will blow him over the thing there. Second one's a platform. We know that if he drops, then he dies. So we can just put that down. Third one is a much larger or higher up platform, which descends pretty slowly. And once again, he's died because he didn't make it. So, let's restart this again. Um, since we know in advance what's going to happen, we can basically look around to that point and tap it, and we'll see that the platform starts coming down. And yeah, now by the time he gets there, he can easily make it and keep walking. So basically with the whole VR side of it, the whole point is that you can see the whole level at once. Um, you can see all the possible traps in that that you've got to deal with. And yeah, you can sort of activate what you need to as it comes along. Obviously it won't all be as easy as this. There'll be like either timed events where you've got to make sure you do it at a certain point in the level. Um, there'll be different things playing off each other. So like this spinning thing here could have a box of spikes on top of it, for example, and then if he walks into that, he dies. Whereas if you turn off the fan, like it'll drop down and sort of, yeah, click, give a clear way across. On top of that, you can like mess with what the player can and can't see. So you could have like a large object sort of blocking your view in one area, and then the character walks over a button, and yeah, that gets cleared. And yeah, just all that sort of stuff. That's really it for this video anyway, so let me know what you think, if it's worth pursuing, and yeah, I'll catch you all later.